Welcome to week three of our online learning. First things first, let's talk feedback. Those of you that got feedback emails, that's great. Please read them. Those of you who did not get a feedback email from me, please do not panic. I got about halfway through doing those emails and I realized it was kind of asinine to write each of you a personal email and that as much as I would love to do that, there's not enough time in a day or a week or a month to do that. So I am changing the way that we do feedback. Instead of getting a feedback email, I'm going to be giving you your feedback via Google Classroom. This means that everything that we're going to be doing, including discussions, which I will talk about shortly, will be completed on Google Classroom. Hopefully this makes it easier, it should streamline the process, and then everything that you need can be found there. Also, I am using Synergy to record whether you completed or didn't complete each of the assignments. Please understand that you are not receiving any form of numerical grade for any of the work that you do for the rest of the semester. All I'm doing in Synergy is keeping track of whether you turned something in and completed it, which is a P, or you didn't turn something in, which is an N. For this week, you will have two assignments once again, a short reading, a dialectical journal, and a discussion. Your reading for this week is going to be an article called How Epidemics of the Past Changed the Way Americans Lived. It was written at the very beginning of April, which means it's super recent, and it talks about other pandemics that have happened in the United States, such as tuberculosis, and how that has changed the way we as Americans live. It's super interesting and super topical right now. Once you read that article, you are going to be completing a DJ. Your DJ for this week looks the exact same as last week, title up at the top. Your essential question is also the same. What is a natural response to human-made universal crises? So I want you to be continuing to think about how humans innately respond in the face of fear or stress, how this article is applying to our situation, and how it is applied to Faster by Margaret Atwood. Once again, you will need three quotes and three pieces of commentary, which must be three to five sentences each. Once your DJ is done, you are going to do your discussion. Now, don't panic. We are going to be doing discussions differently. I liked the idea of doing Padlet originally, but it became really confusing and somewhat difficult to read through your responses and comments and also to assess who did it and who did not do it. So we are going to be doing a new thing on Classroom. When you log on to Classroom this week, you will see something that looks like this. It has a little question mark and it'll say, Lena Stanley posted a new question. Your discussion question will be right here. And then you will type your answer right here. You're not going to be able to see other people's responses until you provide your answer. So let's go ahead and do that. You'll hit turn in. you're only halfway done. Once you post your original answer, you do need to respond to at least two of your classmates. So you can click on this cute little dude here. And you'll see everyone else's responses here on this side. I'm the only person in this class, but you will see all of your peers. Then you're gonna hit this little reply arrow. And you are going to respond to their answer to the question. As your teacher, I will be able to give you feedback in your discussion response, um, and it'll pop up down here at the bottom. And that's it. Two assignments for the week, same assignments as last time, a new reading to think about. Go ahead and check out Classroom for the rest of your assignments, and I will see you next week. Bye.